already fighting red aggression from Korean waters. American Marines, men of a corps that has won fame in many a critical battle, are seen landing with tanks and equipment to meet the crisis of the moment, Korea. Since this picture was taken, they are reported to have made progress against the Reds and to have stemmed the drive in the south against Busan. And here are some North Korean prisoners. Only a handful, it's true, but let's hope they're a sign of the time. General MacArthur, paying another visit to the peninsula, was received by General Walker, commanding America's 8th Army, and then drove off towards the front. The front has been steadily shrinking. From the time the Reds attacked and captured Seoul, the capital, then Suwon, and in the fourth week, Taeyeon, after bitter fighting. Rear guard actions followed until the United Nations forces established an 80-mile perimeter around the port of Busan. If that can be held, all the rest may be recovered. Recent news indeed has been encouraging, though the struggle looks like being long and fierce. The first advances by American troops have been reported, and at one place they found the communists evidently indulging in a scorched earth policy. And that may be a sign of the times too. In the air, hard blows against the Reds continue to be struck. A dock is badly damaged, for example. And the North Korean production town of Hungman is left burning. Returning to a carrier after a successful mission, one pilot got into trouble, his plane crashing into the sea. Top left of the picture, the pilot can be seen swimming. He was saved, I'm glad to say. And another incident, a rocket goes adrift on a deck. A nasty moment, but two of the crew dash for it without the slightest hesitation and remove the dangerous missile out of harm's way. Just part of the day's work, no doubt, and a comrade laughs as they dump the thing overboard. 